everyone. So sorry it's been a while. I decided to take a little break from YouTube. And it's only been about three weeks, I think, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I thought I'm not going to force it, but I'm back now. I've got a little haul video it's from a few different places. So I've got some new magpie colours, glitters, um, little nail art bits. I've got some new cuticle oils, some bits from Amazon. So first of all, I'm going to start with the cuticle oils. So these are from Neba Nail Care. I discovered them on Instagram and I just love them. I've already changed all my cuticle oils. So I used to use NAF stuff and I do still have a little desk oil that I've got quite a bit left in. So I'll probably still use this just till it's used up, but I don't think I'm going to be buying any more because these are amazing. The thing I like the most actually is the pen. So I've only ever used NAF stuff and to be honest, I found the pens really, really difficult. Um, I thought that I just had to like them because they're such a big brand and everyone loves them. And I do like love them. I love the, the fragrances. But the pen itself, you'd twist and nothing would come out for like five, ten minutes. So you'd like twist it and you'd go to use it and not much would come out. And you'd think, oh, well, that's obviously how much comes out. And then you go back to it like half an hour, an hour later, and it's all dripping off and like sort of spilling into the lid and it's really annoying so I just thought that's how cuticle oil pens worked but with this one literally you twist it it comes out straight away and then you use what obviously what you need come back and no more has come out there's been no extra sort of spillage I guess so oh, I just absolutely love them for that that's the main reason and also the scents are amazing the scents are right up my street so I love like the spa kind of smells all the essential oils I just love it so these are the scents I've got so I've got two of the lime basil and mandarin this is the one I'm using at the minute you can tell because it's sort of the tips like yellow where the the oils come out and then we've got shea butter and coconut let's move them around that's gonna annoy me and we've got lavender and chamomile and they all smell so amazing um, I'm going to try some other ones as well. This was just like a tester and I absolutely love them. So I'm definitely going to buy the rest of the scents and start using those. So that's them. Um, I'll just pop them back in here. And then from Mag... Oh no, we'll do this next. So we've got Amazon. I just bought these little dried flowers. And I think they were £6 and you get three little tubs. And I mainly wanted them for these. So you can cut off the little flowers at the end and it's just really delicate so mainly I got them for them but they've also got some leaves in there like this they've got some bigger flowers and this one as well they've got more of the bigger flowers but yeah I mainly wanted them for this and then you can put it with a bit of gold leaf silver leaf and it just looks really nice got some more swatch sticks because I've run out and I just thought they were really cute. Oh, that's a lot more than I expected them to be. So I just got these little um, glitter shards. Is that the right word? Yeah, I think so. Oh, what way do I put them? Is it that way or that way? And yeah, you just sort of cut them up. I've seen people do really cute designs where they just cut them up and lay them on the nail and then you can have a bit of um, glitter or like foil and just makes it a bit abstract so I thought I'd try them and then also I've been wanting these for ages the little black hearts because I love the nails that are plain and then you've just got a little black heart here at the cuticle and if you're doing a full set it just fills me up with anxiety trying to get them all to match <laughs> if you're doing them hand painted so I just thought these would be perfect they've got different sizes as well they're matte black oh they're beautiful so yeah you can just get a little one pop it at the cuticle and then they're all exactly the same size god you get loads I didn't expect to get that many um again I think these were £1.50 um yeah they're just really cute so I've got those and these are stackers as well so if you get different shapes they've got the like sort of screw bit at the bottom so if you get more you just take the lid off and you screw it into the next one so they become like a stack so that's really good for storage as well so that's those and now on to the colors so um, I haven't got the full collection I don't really think it makes much sense unless I have loads of money because I just think there are certain colors that people won't have 
I mean, there's, there might be one person that'd have it, but the majority of people wouldn't go for that colour. So I just sort of buy colours that I like and that my clients like. Um, just because I don't want to have gels that just sit there doing nothing that I might use maybe once a year or something. So I'm just sort of add, building up my collection as I go. So this is Goodness Gracious Me. I've wanted this one for a long time. This is a really pale grey and it's beautiful. It's really, really delicate. And this would be perfect for gradient nails. So you could do like white. Goodness gracious me, I've got another gray as well, which is strong gale. And then you could do black. I love gradient nails, so that would be perfect for that. And they'd also be really good with these shards. That is a design I wanna try. So just really plain gray nails and then an accent nail with a few of these and some, I don't know, silver leaf or something like that. So really excited to try that. I've got Cherry Blossom, which is a beautiful, well, what you'd imagine Cherry Blossom to look like, literally the exact colour of Cherry Blossom. It's really, really nice. It's sort of like a dusky, a dusky pink. And it's really pretty because a lot of the pinks I have are virgin on sort of the neon side. They're either neon-y or they're more like a nudie pink. Whereas this one is just a pure pink, so definitely needed it for my collection. Um, I'm going to do a little swatch video as well, separately, because I have got a few gels and glitters that I need to swatch. So I thought I'd do another swatch video and compare them to some of the other colours I've got. So that'll be coming up. Um, I've got Pip Squeak, which I want to say brown, but it's not. It's sort of like, um, I don't know how to describe it like a grey mauvey brown and it's really really subtle really nice it'll look gorgeous on all skin tones and it's just a really nice I'd say autumnal colour really nice for transitioning from summer into autumn it'll be really pretty and then I've got Nina Cherry I've been needing her for ages but every time I go to place an order, they've bought out new colours. So then I get all excited and buy the new ones when I need to remember to get some of the old ones that I've wanted for a while. So this is just a pure cherry purpley red. It is absolutely stunning. It's such a like firm favourite. And it's one of Magpie's most popular gels. I love all the berry purple colours. They're so, so beautiful. You could use them in autumn, you can have them in summer, you can have them in winter. They're just so versatile and it's gorgeous. I've already done a set with using this and Cherry Blossom um, and I sort of ombre the two together and then put like some silver leaf on it and oh, they were gorgeous. So if you follow me on Instagram, go have a look at those. They were so nice. So that's Nina Cherry. Um, I've got Moaning Myrtle, which I have on my nails now. I actually use some of these colours to do this set. How gorgeous are they? Glitter. Oh, so nice. But yeah, these these two are Moaning Myrtle. Um, and I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so I just had to have it regardless of what the colour was. I just love the name. Um, so it's. I thought it was a blue when I ordered it, but it's actually more of a green. I think because I've seen swatches of it with greens, so I just assume... I mean, with a blue, so I thought it was a blue. But I would probably say it's more of a green. It's like a... A really pale, pastely, I'd say a grey green. So it's definitely not bright. Um, but I also want Granny Smith, which is a green. So I reckon if I put this next to that, then this would probably look blue. But at the moment, on its own, it's a greeny colour. Um, and again, it's really versatile. You can put it with purples, you can put it with blues, you can put it with greens, and it will sort of... It will change depending on what you put with it. So it's really, really versatile, really pretty colour. And lastly, I think, yeah. Oh, no, not fresh as a daisy. What have I put back? Oh, I put the wrong one back. Sandy Lane. This is the other one I've got. So these are Sandy Lane. And this is stunning. This is from the... Um, I can't remember the name of the collection, but it's like the neon pastels, which I don't understand because they're complete opposites. You're either a neon or a pastel, but I kind of get what they mean. It's sort of like a bright pastel. 
It's like a bluey purple. Really, really, really pretty. It gives me like Bridgerton vibes, like the um, flowers. It's just like that colour. It's gorgeous. So now onto the glitters. So we'll start off with Tara because I actually don't have any silver glitter. It's really bad. I've only got a few. Um, if you haven't seen my swatch video of me swatching my glitters, I'll um, link it below. Um, but I don't have that many. I was sort of umming and ahhing whether to go down the glitter route because as soon as you start, then it just becomes another addiction. But I think it was because I was kind of scared to, to use them. Um, but now I feel like I've mastered my technique so my fine glitters I'm really happy with how they've been looking I've sort of changed my technique of applying them and with the chunky glitter um the beauty room by Sarah has definitely inspired me to love and embrace chunky glitter um it's just I used to scare myself and think oh I don't like it because they're bumpy and then you end up filing into it and then oh it's just a nightmare but I have loved using it and I'm so glad that I did because I don't know what I was scared about. It's so amazing. So I might, if you want to see a video of that, of how I apply my glitters, let me know and I'll, I'll do that one next because it's definitely, a few of the techniques and tips I've learned have definitely helped me. So yeah, we're now addicted to glitter. So my bank balance is probably going to suffer, but it's fine. So this is Tara. She's a gorgeous holographic chunky silver mix. And um, there are some like smaller bits in there as well you can see so I'd say it's more of a multi mix but on the website it's described as chunky and it's just beautiful it's just a staple silver holographic glitter you can't really go wrong so that's Tara and then we've got Millie which is very similar to is it Amelia Anastasia let me get that so Anastasia this is a fine glitter or is it medium yeah I'd say it's fine so this is Anastasia and this is Millie. So you can see they're very similar. However, Anastasia is purely rose gold. Whereas Millie, she's sort of got, she's got hol holographic bits in there as well. She's got silver, she's got pinks. So it's a bit more of a mix. Then we've got, oh, this one's stunning. I can't wait to use this Frankie. Another holographic one, but this is holographic pink. So depending on how the light hits it, you can see blues, greens, reds, orange, pink. Oh, it's just beautiful. Look at that. This would pair gorgeous with Nina Cherry. Where is she? They would look gorgeous together. So yeah, I'm very excited to use her. We've got Marjorie, which is from the Mother's Day collection. So these two actually, they are glitter and flakes, so they're just so versatile. I've got Linda on my nails now, and it is just gorgeous. It gives full coverage. I've got one coat of Sandy Lane on underneath, and then I've just gone straight in with Linda. And because it's got the flakes and the glitter, it just it makes you think it's a full coverage nail. When, when you look really closely, like I haven't covered the whole thing because you can still see the colour underneath. But it just sort of gives it this full coverage effect. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, this is Marjorie. So this is the orange version. This would look beautiful with Ginger Rogers, Days of Dawn, Coral Reef. Any of the corally orange colours. But yeah, so it's got sort of like Mylar flakes in there. Iridescent. Just so beautiful. It would be lovely for the summer. Obviously, we're coming out of the summer now. But next summer, I can see this being really popular with the bright orange colours. Stunning. And then onto Linda, very similar, but this is more of a periwinkle, very similar to Sandy Lane, hence why I paired it with it. Um, but it's bluey, greeny, and because of the flakes as well, they're so thin that it will shift depending on the colour you put underneath. So I could have quite easily put this over Mona Myrtle and it would have looked more green because of the iridescent flakes in it. I could put over a blue and it'd bring out the blue tones in it. I could put it over a dark, like a green, like a brighter green, like aquamarina, and it would look more green. It's just so versatile and I just love these purpley, again, Bridgerton sort of vibes. I just love the colors and the tones in there and it's just so beautiful. So that's Linda. 
And then lastly, we've got Kylie. This is a chunky glitter mix again. Um, I don't know what the word is. Is it metallic? Because it's not holographic because it hasn't got that rainbow effect. But it's sort of like um, colour shift. Is that the right word? It's sort of like a two-tone thing. So the glitter, depending on how the light hits it and how you look at it, it could be green, but then it's got a gorgeous purple streak running through it as well. Um, chameleon, is that the right word? Yeah, we'll go with that, chameleon effect. So if you look down here, it sort of looks greeny, but then when the light's on it, it goes blue and purple. It's really, really pretty. I'm really excited to use this. This would be perfect for like Halloween nails. I think it'd look gorgeous over a black, over a navy. Oh, I just can't wait to have a play with this one. So yeah, that's Kylie. And that's it done. I thought I had more than that, but obviously not. So I hope you've enjoyed enjoyed this haul. I'll try and do some more videos using these. Um, I just get too excited to try a design or do my own nails and then I think, oh, I should have recorded that. But oh well. Um, but yeah, look out for my swatching video. That'll be coming out probably next week. Um, and yeah, you can see how these all apply. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.